Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. What's up, everybody? HTG Doug here. This time we're checking out sequence three, memory five, sugarcane and its yields. Sorry, I have trouble saying the word yields. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna start here. Uh, da, da, da. We're gonna rewind that and try it again. So we're gonna start here by following James Kidd, who I did not realize was a guy for the record. But then we're gonna have to tail this guy up here. Uh, he's the agent. I don't know what his actual name. I forgot. Um, you'll see a horrible edit there, or you already did. Nope, there it is. <laughs> even I confused myself. I didn't even know when it was. But basically, welcome to the most annoying memory I have done so far. <laughs> it, it annoyed me. We'll just put it that way. It didn't help the fact that the first time I did this, I actually hadn't hit the record button. So, had to do it again. <laughs> So, going into this, I was not very happy, but we got through it. Um, <laughs> I'll explain a little more later on why it really annoyed me. Um, it, it was basically the optional objective, but like I said, we'll get to that later. But for now, we're just going to tail the agent. Um, basically, just follow the path I take. Y you know, you can go to the other bush if you want, whatever. But it's really up to you. So once he, uh, once they take off, you can move up to the guys right here in the little group and make sure that that guy on the right is not looking at you. Otherwise, as you'll see, he'll see you and then you'll kind of get screwed. But uh, just kind of move up, like follow the path along. And then this is where it can be kind of annoying. Um, kind of run through there kind of quickly and get out of the zone. And you should be able to get on the boat um, unless it does what it's doing to me and kind of just keeps going in and out. So, you know, it was very annoying, and I think I just shot him. Did I? Yep, headshot. And I get a challenge for it, so very good. But that's an easy way to get back to the boat. Um, just go to the rowboat, and I'll take you there. Now, this part was kind of annoying, too, uh, because I, <laughs> it's just you're not really supposed to be seen, but it, it's just... <laughs> the yellow like symbols on the map that tell you where the ships are looking, I, I felt like they were off. So like I would be in one, but they wouldn't see me and and stuff like that. So it it was kind of annoying. Um, I, there, there's really nothing else I can really say about it. it it's just you kind of have to go through there as quick as possible, and you, you really shouldn't have a problem with it after that. But as you can see, the optional objective just popped up. It is to stay out of combat. Um, the best advice I can really give you is just to s speed up, up as fast as you can and basically just drive like right down the center. As you'll see on the mini map, I kind of go in between the two of them. And it, uh, see, to me, it looks like I'm in the circle and it does notify it. Not notify, notify me that I am, but it goes away like that. And it, it's just, I had to redo this a couple times, like I said, because the first time I didn't record it. And the second time I had a couple problems with it. So... The, the locations of the ships changed quite frequently and which ways they were looking changed so, so you might have to restart this once or twice and try to get a better spawn of the enemies to be honest with you but I didn't really ever get in combat but I also it, like I said it's just kind of weird like I felt like sometimes I should have been and I really wasn't so hopefully you guys don't have as much problems I do but when I got here uh, as you'll see it, it pops up but so that I completed the challenge, so I just I don't really know the whole the whole object the whole optional objective was really weird, and I felt like the parameters or whatever you want to call it were off a little bit. So, but I did have a little problem getting far away from the ship. Um, it's like super fast, and you can't really go any faster than this. So, like it took off at a point, and I almost lost the ship a few times. So, be sure you really are just speeding through it as fast as you can. Try not to turn too much, stuff like that, and just brace for the wind so you're not taking uh, you're not losing too much speed. That's really all I can tell you about that. Uh, like I said, it it was the whole thing was weird. I didn't like it, uh, so I can't really give you any advice on it because, I mean, it, it's just the way it is. So now I'm gonna talk about the stops. Oh my god, I'm gonna talk about the se second optional objective, which once you hit that little reach symbol. 
you have 45 seconds to get to the point on the uh, in the next area. But you have to sabotage two alarm bells while doing so. And I had a little trouble with this, so I'm going to show you a really easy way to do it. Hopefully you guys can follow along. Uh, basically just run up, stab this guy real quick. Um, sometimes the guy walking in the distance will see you. If he does, just shoot him. If not, just move on to the next one, which is to the right here. Uh, this part I also had trouble with. Sometimes the guy wouldn't see me, sometimes he did. If he does, just shoot him, sabotage the belt. Don't worry about the guy standing next to it. I'm not going to show you why right now, but he will not say anything to you. So just walk up, sabotage it, and then run to the area. That was actually the best time I had in the multiple times I did it. And I'm sure it'll take you a time or two to get used to it. Like I said, sometimes the first guy at the, the first bell will see you. Um, so you'll have to shoot him and run really quickly. So that'll kill a second or two. And sometimes he doesn't. So you may have to do it again. You may not. But luckily it spawns you right back. Uh, if you reload at the point right, right, right after you get off the ship so it's not too bad not too big of a deal but this part is just like the uh the first part where you're telling the agent just basically follow him around stay stick to the bushes and you shouldn't have any problem whatsoever but on a side note uh i will be showing you the silence fools trophy slash achievement coming up here very shortly if it's not already up uh you can actually do it in this mission, but I didn't. I didn't want to do it um, at the same time because you can't do it. You can't 100% the mission or the seek the memory and get the trophy at the same time. So I figured I would do it in two separate videos. So like I said, if, go check that out if you're having trouble with it. Um, if it's not already up, if not, or if it is, go check it out. If it's not, then it will be up very shortly. All right, so as you'll see, like the reason why I told you not to worry about the guy by the second bell is because he is drunk and he cannot tell a damn thing from what's going on. So, so don't worry about him. Uh, said I had to restart that part a couple times to get the optional objective. So don't worry about it too much if you fail it the first time. Just restart and try it again, and just try to follow the path and the what I did. All right, so once um, the guy goes back red and he tells you you need to find the key. Or locate the key holder, sorry. The key, the key holder, what's the difference? Um, and I took this guy out. You don't have to take him out. I just figured I'd get him out of the way. Um, it really doesn't affect you. He'll walk away from you anyway. So, the key holder is, like I said, you can see there off in the distance. He's right there. He'll actually walk right past you here. So, I'm, as you're going to see, I just stay right here. And I'm just going to wait for him to walk past me. I found it easier than going after him. And then once he walks past you, you can just pickpocket him real quick. Or you can kill him. I, I really don't remember if I killed him or not. I think I just pickpocket him and just walk away. But Yeah, see? So you can do this stealthily if you so choose to. And this was actually the best run-through I had. So I was actually really uh, happy with this run-through because... I just, like I said, I did this a few times. And the first couple times I did it were not so good. I ended up getting a little, little bit of... I apologize. I can't talk again as per usual, but you will get a reward for if you don't let them ring the bells. So it pays 400 reals to not let them to complete the optional objective. So if you get a chance to, you might as well go ahead and do it. But once you do those two things, sabotage both alarm bells and stay out of combat, you will 100% sink the mission. So like I said, very annoying mission because of its optional objectives. Um, but it is very doable, especially with the help that I just provided you, hopefully. So there you go um said go check out the silence fools trophy achievement if it's not up already i will be soon and i hope you guys enjoyed so as always you know, follow us on facebook follow us on twitter and like and subscribe to us on youtube and i will see you guys soon